Hey, welcome to the channel today. Uh, we have for you today a basically all it is um, is a bait deck. So it's a bait deck. You're gonna bait out the arrows. You're gonna bait out the log. You're gonna bait out the zap. One of my clan mates showed this to me, and clearly, I mean, I haven't mastered it yet, but it's way fun to play. It's pretty quick, obviously, which is kind of my style of play. And it has the rocket in its features with rocket uh, for your clutch moments at the end there when you just need to take a tower down and you can't get to it. So I'm going to show you a replay real quick here. I've dropped down in trophy so much just trying all these new stinking decks and it's just been crazy. I've dropped all the way down from 4,000 all the way down to like 3,500, but there's no punishment. So I get my chest still, my draft challenge chest for going above 4,000 and and no big deal, no big deal. So we got this. So basically, um, depending on the starting hand, I usually start out pretty quick. If I have the hog, I'll just rush the hog in there or the barrel, I even put the air barrel in there. And so basically see what he has as far as um, counters for that. So he, had the, he, so he has the zap and he has the log. So he has both counters for kind of what I'm rolling with here. And so as soon as he um, dropped his stuff over there, he tried to get my hog with um that cannon but he missed a little bit so my hog got in there and got a ton of damage done on that tower so it worked out really well and so now i'm two rockets away on that tower is all because my rocket i think does about 550 540 damage and so i'm gonna keep that in mind i'm two rockets away so i throw my goblins there he goes he zaps it there which was actually a great zap um i tried to throw deep just to kind of bait his zap out a little bit more and so he wouldn't take it out but he took it out he took it out pretty good princess there threw a Spooky shot at the cannon and totally missed everything. So I was just kind of waiting. I didn't drop my gang yet because I knew he had the log and I knew he was going to be coming at me. So he threw everything he had at me. Um, he threw Princess in there, which was great, but I threw my arrows, took out the Princess and the minions, and got a little bit of a sliver of health down on that Valkyrie. So now I'm one, uh, basically one um, rocket away from that tower. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. And my mindset here is I should think you know all i should do is defend but i don't i never do <laughs> i always go for the other tower for some reason so i'm sitting here and he's not doing nothing he puts his he's got full elixir puts his ice wizard in the back so i go ahead i drop skeleton army because i know he's going to do something he's debating between the log and zap because he doesn't know what to do so i throw my hog in there he puts a cannon down which is a great cannon he gets it clear over there he misses the log because i threw the barrel just a touch deep so it worked out really well got a ton of damage on that tower still he throws his princess down so i'm shooting the princess and with uh, oh oh my princess missed the princess i was kind of hoping that my princess would get his princess but it didn't didn't so i had to end up arrowing it he's got elite barbs coming in so it worked out really good because it targeted the valkyrie the inferno tower targeted the valkyrie and i was able to put my skeleton army over there just to take out the elite barbs and he had no zap no log left to take out my skeleton army because he was zapped and logging the whole way through and missing everything else so it worked out really well not too shabby so i'm just sitting here trying to get that other tower and he's doing a pretty good job of defending it and i'm pretty much like oh, crap <laughs> there's no way i'm gonna get it because <laughs> i wanted that tower so badly and all i had to do was defend and like i said i'm a gomer going for that other tower so finally i'm like fine i better just take that tower out so i take the tower out with the rocket he's coming in hot but there's nothing he can do at this point so that's a win. That's a win. So that's basically how the game's played. A lot of people are carrying the uh, zap and the log in their decks, I've noticed. And ever since I switched to this deck, um, basically every single deck that I've played against has been direct counters to the deck. So before, when I was playing a different deck, I was playing direct counters to that deck. And now I'm playing this deck, direct counters to this deck. I don't know. It's really weird how the matchmaking works. It's kind of frustrating sometimes. But here's the deck um, here. So I got the Goblin Gang, uh, Goblin Barrel, Princess, uh, Skeleton Army, all zappable, loggable targets, except for maybe the Princess. She's arrowable. That's a word. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna upgrade the Goblin Gang right now because I love goblins. They're so fun. Even though it's 20,000 gold, dude, that's a lot of gold. But I'm gonna upgrade them so we can't get zapped anymore. I probably should upgrade the Inferno Tower, but I haven't seen a need for it yet, really. Um, it's just, I don't, <laughs> he wants an Inferno Tower. Um, I'll give him one in a second. Anyway, so I haven't seen a huge need for it yet, but I may upgrade it soon. Um, it's hard to uh, allocate your gold so that you um, can can upgrade as many things as possible, just how you need to, and not be wasting gold. 
Anyway, so he drops Wizard in the back. We're gonna go ahead and attack this other side, make him use whatever he's got so he can't really back up that wizard with much of anything. So he's got nothing for that goblin barrel. So he's basically gonna push really hard on this side. He's got a balloon, which works out perfect for what we got going. We're gonna put goblin gang there, and then we're gonna arrow those minions away, take out the wizard, take out the balloon, no damage to any of our towers, and we got a goblin gang, level 11, coming in hot on his tower. So he's got princess, or sorry, Valkyrie. So I'm just gonna put Princess down here just to chip away a little bit because I really don't have a lot of defense for the Princess or for the Valkyrie right now. She's probably one of the worst counters for this deck, so it's kind of hard to deal with her. Why do I attack that side? So I attack that side for no reason, but the Goblin Barrel's gonna do a lot of damage still. He's got Musketeer coming in. We're gonna save our Skeleton Army. Hopefully he does, oh, he's got Witch. Oh, that's great. That is great. Good for him. So we're going to put Skeleton Army down on the Musketeer because I don't think he has anything to combat Skeleton Army. We're going to put Goblin Gang, take out that Witch as soon as she targets on the tower. Not too shabby. Oh, and our Skeleton Army is going to take out that little Hog Rider, so I don't think I need to put anything down for that. That would be just a waste of Elixir. So I'm going to put Hog in on this side since we have that tower all the way down pretty much. Not too big of a problem. And then I might rocket. Nah, I'm not going to rocket that little dude. Maybe I should have rocketed him. I don't know. I haven't decided yet whether <laughs> that would have been a good call or not. So I'm going to put that down, and then I'll put the Inferno Tower down just to defend. Should take the Valkyrie all the way out, and then hopefully we'll have enough of the Inferno Tower left. Nope. So we'll have to, and we don't have to do anything. We're just going to launch the Goblin Barrel right there. He's going to put his Musketeer down, I would imagine. Oh, Elite Barbs. How come he didn't bring those out anytime sooner? I may, nope, I'm not going to rocket them. I am not going to rocket them. <laughs> I was thinking about rocketing the Elite Barbs, but I didn't. That's excellent zap value if he has zap. He doesn't have a log or a zap, which is really weird. I'm just going to rocket that dang witch to get her out of the picture altogether. Now are we are within, what is my arrow? 107. That's perfect. So we'll do that to take out the balloon, hopefully first. And the wizard will be just chilling there. Oof. We should be able to take that Hog Rider out. I'm just going to take that tower down because I'll forget if I don't. And that worked out really well. Valkyrie, see that Valkyrie? I have nothing for the Valkyrie, but he didn't use her very effectively throughout this game. The only thing I can do when the Valkyrie is coming down the lane is kind of split up my um, Goblin Gang. And so the, goblin, the Spear Goblins will kind of take her out while my Stabby Goblins kind of basically get wasted. <laughs> so it kind of distracts pretty well. So anyway, that was pretty good. Uh, battle there. Anyway, it's super fun deck. Try that thing out. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, I don't know. I'm not great, obviously, but it's a fun deck and it definitely baits out your opponent. It does pretty good against most decks. The only ones that it struggles with, um, the Bowler it struggles with, Executioner, um, and then the Valkyrie sometimes it struggles with a little bit. But all the big tank decks just absolutely kills, crushes them. Any Royal Giant decks crushes it. The Elite Barbs, depending on what they're paired with, sometimes it has a little bit of a problem with the Elite Barbs. So there's that. But anyway, thanks for dropping by the channel today. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Uh, so we video um, coming out, I think, tomorrow. So be sure and put your notification on for that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out tomorrow. Hopefully I get it all the way edited and put up there. But it's a dang sweet video. Anyway, thanks for dropping by and good luck.